Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to see how to create an animation of the evolution of one shape inside another. For this, we will use Typeflow and especially the VDB. We will also see how to add a lot of details thanks to the Laplacian effect. You can of course find this project like all the other projects in my Patreon with all the setup, materials, texture and lighting. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we are in 3 Max and let's see what we have for this simulation. So I have here my text, just a simple letter S, here text with S letter in Dean, and just a bevel to 10. Okay, and I have a sphere inside my letter. You can see here in the front view and in the left view that the sphere is right inside the letter. Okay. Now I can go back to clay mode. I will select my letter S, go to object properties and display as box and set not renderable. So if I launch a render like this, I only see my sphere and not the letter S. Great. Now I have here my type setup, but I will create another to show you it works. So type flow. Open editor, move the windows here. I will now create a birth VDB and I will add an object to SDF. I can pick my sphere. And if I deselect here the text, of course, and the sphere, you can see the sphere created by my object to SDF. Great. I will go maybe to Bros VDB and decrease the voxel size to 0.5, I think. Now what I want to do is to create a growth animation for the sphere. So I will add a VDB modify. Velocity set. Okay. I have nothing to change here. Let's see if it works. It doesn't work because I need the VDB solver. So I create here the VDB solver. And now you can see that it works, but only in the first frame. So I will switch the VDB modify to continuous timing here and continuous. And now you can see it works. It's great like this. Now what I want to do is to cut the VDB with the shape of my letter. So I will add another object to SDF here. just after the first here i have my text and i will pick the text now you can see that it creates a shape for the letter s and it's not what we want we want to cut the first sphere so i will change the operation to intersect but you see that it not works it because I have to switch the timing to continuous and now it's perfect I will just go back to my camera and if I launch the animation you can see the creation of the letter with the sphere it's a very beautiful effect very beautiful like this Okay, so this is the basic for the creation of a gross animation inside the shape, but we will try to go further. So I will now go back to my Typeflow setup here. What you can do is to add another VDB modify. Here, change the vector operation to multiply and we'll play with the noise. So here the noise and maybe go to turbulence play with the scale of 0.1 maybe of course timing to continuous and here you can see a very beautiful and different result this is really cool like this just my windows on the left like this go maybe to frame 100 and let's see the result yeah very beautiful if you want you can add a tie relax if you want to smooth the animation so here tie relax amount to 0 0.25 maybe and iteration to 20. yes 
really smooth like this. Beautiful. Maybe one. You can of course play if you want with the velocity and the noise and change the strength to maybe 0.5. You can of course, if you want a more detailed and more sharp result, decrease a bit the voxel size to 0.3. More sharp like this, as you can see. Yeah, it's very beautiful like this. Love the render. Okay, so you can play if you want, as I said, with the velocity and the noise, but what we want to do now is to create a Laplacian look. So I will add another VDB modifier. Go back to frame zero, set to multiply, and I will not select noise this time, but here Laplacian. You have here a lot of options I will show you, but first let's see how it looks. Of course, I have to change the timing to continuous, and here we have very, very cool look with the Laplacian. You can of course change the look of the Laplacian here in the Browse VDB. You can up the voxel size, you will have a bigger effect. You can see here, you can go back here to the Laplacian. What I have to do is to go in the modify input scalar and you can play if you want with the exponent. Let's try with an exponent to zero. You can see very cool look too. It's very beautiful like this. You can of course play with a multiplier too. Maybe a multiplier to 0 0.5 and an exponent to, to 0 0.5. That will create very different results as you can see here. What you can do too is to go back to the last option, the modify output vector. And if you want to decrease the velocity of the effect, you can just decrease the multiplier here. So if I set a value of 0 0.52, it will take more time to create the Laplacian. Okay, if you want to smooth a bit the result of your effect, I will just go back before to normal value, maybe one here. And for the multiplier, one, two. Yeah, it's great like this. Maybe decrease a bit the voxel size to 0 0.4. Okay, I think it's really cool like this. We have a very beautiful effect as you can see. If I want to smooth a bit the look, you have here the tie relax, but what you can do is to add a VDB filter. VDB filter here, set min. So you can keep the VDB filter with the min option that will filter all your mesh, but uh, you can also add another one for the Laplacian. So first I will go here to frame maybe 40. You have here the result a bit smooth with the VDB filter in min option, and I will now add another VDB filter. Just after the first, you can see here another great result. You can just combine different min, different filter, but for this one, I will select here Laplacian. And now you can see here in the result that it moves all the Laplacian effect. You can of course increase the iteration to create different results. Yeah. Maybe five. Let's try with the high value. Of course, it will totally change the look and the effect of your Laplacian. Very cool like this. Let's see. Further in the animation. Yeah, it looks very beautiful like this. Let's see, maybe with a render. It's very, very cool like this. Beautiful animation. Now, once you're satisfied with your final result, all you have to do is to select here your title setup, go to export, export selected, 
For the file, I will select Alambic, VDB, OK, nothing to change here, in Y, and for the range, I will just set here the 45, 45, and export. Now I can go back to my Typeflow setup, deactivate, go to import, merge, here I select all file, and I can select here my vdb.abc. Import in Y, rename, OK. And you can see here the animation. If you want, you can also smooth a bit with a tie relax. Where is the tie relax? Here, 25. You can also add a turbo smooth. Really beautiful like this. and relaunch a render. Of course, you have to apply the texture. I have here my VRSSS. Or if you want, you can add a glass effect, a gold effect, chrome. It's up to you to play with all the setting and material to create the look you want for your effect. Okay guys, so it's over for this tutorial, I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget to thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. You can of course find all the files of the tutorial and project on my Patreon. And you can if you want follow me on Instagram or Beyond if you want. See you soon for the next tutorial guys, bye.